Itsumar is the name, Pro Skittles the game, and we're playing Heavy Rain. In the last episode, uh, we were just exploring the apartment as someone knocked on our door. It's been like nine days since the last upload because I've been slacking, and then Dark Dawn came out, and I forgot. Well, right now I'm recording now, and you might hear my family in the background. They're extremely loud because my dad just came back from uh, being out of town. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Oh, look, it's a hooker. My god. Can I come in? Sure. Uh, I don't know. Next thing you know, they slip you a pill, you wake up in the morning, everything's gone, and you're just wondering what the hell just happened. Let's take a coat. Let me take your coat. Alright, and sit down. Please, take a seat. Why well, don't well, well, you take a seat? Looks like we're on modern day Chris Hansen, but with 200 pounds on, under our belt. Or rather, on top of, if there's a belt that can sustain that much weight. If so, then please let me know. I'll be right back. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I... Okay, we're back, and I'm sorry, a little bit of the cutscene kind of, um, you get to hear but not see, because I hit the wrong button. And you Fuck. think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's <sighs> death, is that it? you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Jeez, why don't you throw a little bit harder and cut our throat with it, goddamn. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but you get to hear it at least, so it's... Still makes them around the same. Huh. Hey. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. No sender. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation? Hmm, a prostitute. Because, you know, a hooker can totally help us. Well, she can give the person more fashion, maybe, get some question. information out of them, but that's about it. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Ah, <sighs> goddamn. I'm sorry, Lauren, but I work alone. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. There are other families, I other understand. deaths. We'll just go to it them. Was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Don't let the door hit your Wait. ass on the way out. Oh, guess not. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. And now we have herpes. Alright, now we're just driving down the road, just going for a quick drive. Oh, look, a tow zone. That's where we're gonna park. Get off my ass, Dickle! Shut up! God, why's my family so loud? You probably even heard that little bang. I think that's a door closing. Well, let's uh, get out of the car. Oh look, two goons. Better stop yachting, goddamn. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Mm, looks counterfeit, but I'm being laid off tomorrow, so whatever. Nice ass on that guy, though. Yeah, shut up. He told you to what stop acting gay. You shut up. We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? Oh, after no, that incident. Son. 
incident or what he called the black guy, the N word on a comedian. But now stand -up. I just have a few questions. Oh that need boy, answer. do we have some questions for him? Why'd you do it, Kramer? Why'd you do it? A lot of nice looking cars, though. My word. Let's see if we can count one, two, three, four, five. Five cars. Well, technically, four cars in a minivan. It'd be a shame if, uh, something happened to these and those windows were suddenly smashed, those tires were suddenly slashed, and that dog's head went missing. And can't forget this one over here, but you know, we gotta go through the door. Hello? Housekeeping? Oh, I guess no one's home. Well, thousands of people are here because they're having a big party. Ooh, a beer bottle. What a joint! Kramer must be loaded! What do well, you think he paid for all shiny crap? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. Well, you stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well we're done here. Now let's go walk around more. God, is everyone like drunk or high or something? Jesus. Jesus. Hey, man, hey, get out of my way, you drunk card. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm looking for Gordy. Have you seen him? Oh, looked right through us. Why I ought to pull a bullet in the back of your head. Son of a bitch. Oh, look at this guy. He looks uh, convincing and easy to talk to. Hi! Great party, huh? Hi! Hey, <laughs> year. I haven't seen you before. Oh, yeah, I'm the supplier. I go to all these parties, but I gotta well. stay sober. Let's get better acquainted, pal! <laughs> oh, you're my kind of guy! I like you! <laughs> oh man, we made a friend. I'm so my happy. Friend. I always wanted a friend. Maybe this job does have its perks. Now I got me a new friend. One that smells of alcohol, urine, and hooker spit. Kind of asked for anything better. But let's have a good old drinky boo. Watch, does that smell down? Whiskey straight up, no ice. But it's gotta be on the rocks. Fine, don't have it on the rocks, just took it straight up, yo. There you go, now throw the glass on the ground to shatter it, just go BAM! Or get drunk on the job, your choice, you're a private eye, not like you're in a union or anything. At least I don't think they are. Oh, so let's go have a seat. Hey, baby. Looking good. Great party, huh? <coughs> that was a fake cough. You come here often? Oh, come here to make bitch, friends. don't walk away. That's not cool. That's just player hating right there. Oh, well, let's talk to, uh, Lauren. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party, then? Why don't you go ask him? You just said we're not going to see him. God. But if he's not going to be with the guests, what's the point of throwing a party, man? you got to chill with them, you know, get some cheap women. Get your drink on. Stuff that I'm not really that into, actually. Excuse me? Nobody allowed upstairs. Well, Mr. Suit and Tie, uh, is that hair gel melting your brain? I need to get through here. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. You want a fucking ghost suit? Don't mess with Scott Shelby, he'll break your ass with I want to see Gordy Kramer. I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Oh, that's it. We're mad. 
we're causing a distraction. Let's see. Hello, sir. Whoa. You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What'd he say? He said your mother was a whore and your daddy beat you every morning. Sort him out! There you go, my pal. Cause a distraction. You motherfucker! <laughs> this always makes me laugh. What are you talking about, my brother? You great monkey in a cheap suit? Uh, get get out of my out. way. I need to get through, you piece of shit. I'm a bigger man. I'm a bigger man. Ah, you just know. Hey, 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 hey. Woo, monkey. I'm talking to you, you big ape. What are you saying about my money? You die. Nah, with me, my little friend. Oh my god, that is just no hilarious. Let's keep watching. Oh crap. They broke it up. Eh. I still find that hilarious though, and they just fight and good old drunken stumble always works. So let's go look for him. First let's take a look over. And he's back to drinking. I can barely stand, I suppose that's why I stand him by the pillar. Drunk and stumble. So let's go inside. The fuck is this room? <laughs> Jeez. My god, all I can really say is <laughs> Queer Eye for the Straight Guy called. They want their props back. <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh, this is the best part. And there's two chicks making out. <laughs> oh yeah. Just gotta My name is Scott introduce Shelby. ourselves, I'm I suppose. A private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I wonder, since that's an actual movie playing on the thing, I wonder if there's been any copyright problems with that, or did somebody have to go like, yeah, yo, um, we're gonna put this movie on the mo on the thing for like a minute, have some product placement, you know? I think it's called like Chicken Run or something like that. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Less laugh and more talky. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. Aw, but that chick in the latex dress was hot. What do you want? <clears throat> Let's accuse him. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get into your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. Now what I want to know is what really happened. And when the hell did Pedo Bear get a limousine? Now, just so I make sure that you had nothing to do with the origami killer. So I make myself clear. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Uh, well, that sounds fair enough. Wait a moment. You son of a bitch. I seen that pet over costume in your closet. Uh, you don't think I'm gonna fall for that shit, do you, Kramer? I know it's not the first time you tried to lure a kid into your car. I also know you are more than a suspect for the police. Now, if I were you, I'd think of something more credible. Otherwise, I'm going to make sure you have some serious problems. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? Sounds like a clean arrest to me. This interview is over. 
Get rid of this clown! Oh, if it isn't the suit. Like, we're going willing, bitch. Whoa. Oh, dude. Leave me alone, suit. I'm going for the little guy. Kick him in the leg. Oh. It, oh, you want to go? Oh, God. No. Trigger. Yeah. Block. Oh, oh shit. 